Five days ago, Bo Cooper received a massive dose of genetically modified immune cells that are now targeting and killing his leukemia. His lungs are collateral damage in that war. In Bo's case, one of the complicating factors is, is that he has developed a very severe, what I think is, you know, side effect of the cell infusion. We've engineered into these T cells a new gene that tells them to recognize something that they normally wouldn't recognize, and that is his leukemia cells. And if those leukemia cells are sitting in his lung, they're going to do just what we're, we've asked them to do. The problem is they're doing them in an organ that uh, is potentially compromised by that battle. He's got the line clamped. He just has the line clamped. I want to sit down. Just 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 the pull the spine from spine. And if you prefer to do that here in the room, and maybe sit somewhere else. I'd like to see him breathing at the proper percentage before I left anywhere. Oh, right here. Yeah. 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 We have to make a decision about what needs to be done to try to get him through mass. Seeing him laying like that and then intubated, I mean, you know, it's heartbreaking. I could trade places. I think that's obvious what I would do. You know, I wish he needed something that I had. I wish he needed my lungs or, or something. But he doesn't, you know. He needs what the great minds of the NIH are doing for him. Good. Are you ready? Did you have your protein bar? I did have my protein uh, yeah. bar. Anita McAllister is about to undergo surgery to remove two of the melanoma tumors that have devastated her body. Her doctors hope that inside those tumors are immune cells that are the key to curing her cancer. Are your hands steady? Yeah. Okay, we're steady. good. We're totally good. Steady. You can, you can totally steady. Our anticipation is we're going to do not only the lesion here, right. but the one on the front. Right. I think between the two of those, we'll yeah. get a perfect sample. And uh, we'll keep the scars minimal. Scars are good, though. The scars are tattoos with better stories. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. and scars only grow on people who are alive. So here we go. All right. Okay. I'll see you inside. OK. Yeah. All right. Love see you. See you on the other side. Love you. I won't say it's the end of the road, but this is sort of the last thing that's available to us. You know, there's any number of cliches that describe how I feel about her, from she completes me to I'm a better man for having her in my life. The thought of raising three children by myself is very scary. started I'm excited about this treatment I've watched uh, what's happened for people that it has worked for this is um, this is the best hope I've seen so far so we're hoping it works for us We're going to have two separate specimens for the TIL lab. For metastatic melanoma patients like Anita McAllister, it simply is not possible to remove every tumor in their body. Their disease is too advanced. 
That is why immunotherapy holds such promise. Good to go. What we're getting ready to do for Anita is a procedure that we call a till harvest. Here we take a small tumor. We know she has many more. We're taking it out to use it as a means of creating a treatment. Push a little harder, get through the sub-Q when you do that. Inside Anita's tumors are immune cells, or lymphocytes, that her doctors believe are trying to fight her cancer. But Anita does not have enough of these tumor-infiltrating lymphocytes, or TIL, to destroy her cancer. Dr. Goff is removing two of Anita's tumors so that the TIL within them can be extracted in the lab and then grown into the billions. This new army of TIL will be infused back into Anita in the hope that it can eradicate her melanoma.